Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Katie and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're doing super well. I'm fantastic, I am filming on a Monday night, uh, this was my last working day for <laughs> the week and um, I thought I'd come on quickly to just catch up on what's going on in my world of fountain pens. I have currently written out a lot of my pens and for those of you who may be following my channel you may know that I'm going to be going to Italy very shortly. I can't believe it in two weeks time I'm actually leaving. Yeah so I was deliberating on what pens to take with me and what pens to leave behind and in the meantime obviously I have to write them out because I don't want to have them inked up while I'm away. I'm going to be away for about um, four weeks all up with travel um, backwards and forwards. You know I thought okay yep write them out write them out and for you also that do follow my channel you may know that I have most of my fountain pen collection inked up so it's very rare for me to only have like a few pens inked up but it's actually been really good because it's given me more focus in the sense using lesser pens and then you know using those pens more frequently instead of like just using them on rotation and um i also did receive some stickers um today i love these stickers they're called the craft moo series and they're those um transfer stickers that look really sexy because they're see-through so i did get some We've got like, you know, to take away on holidays with me. <laughs> really like them. They're super, you know, life is beautiful. I got this kind of Moroccan themed one because, you know, the Mediterranean Moroccan kind of thing. And just these kind of um, see-through colored blobs of things. <laughs> Don't know what to call them. Um, yeah, so I got those. Those arrived today. So I'm super happy with that. Um, I'll put those to the side and then I have been writing in my book with the um, pens that I have inked up just to get to see these inks use them up um, and I've been writing from the four agreements which is a book by Don Miguel Ruiz I did ink up most of my pens with all them greens that I did get in my last video and um, if you watched my video on on the quest for the perfect gray green most of the inks that I got in that ink haul are inked up so just to show you these all these inks I got in that um that haul so I've got the sea glasses inked up the Wirangal Mad Hatter the Sailor Riku Chai's with this beautiful sheen and I'm actually really 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 loving this ink because it goes down a color and then it kind of dries to this like can it be called an army green can it be called a khaki green yeah, but it's one of those uh, inks that goes down one colour and then dries to a different colour. And I'm actually loving Studio 462. It's very similar to the Robert Oster, Sydney Darling Harbour. But this is a little bit more wishy-washy as opposed to this. This is a little bit more bluey, greeny, grey. Um, not mad keen on Wurrungle inks, to be honest with you guys. I've tried a few of them and... I'm not really happy with the way they perform. They're very kind of like watery. I mean, they've got pretty colors and stuff like that, but you know, they don't really perform all that well in a pen. Um, I did ink up King Lear initially because it's got these um, beautiful pinky um, shimmery bits to it. But when you write with it, these particulates you can, you can hardly see. So I put the Mad Hatter in my Sailor Pro gear um, just because everything writes super well in the Sailor Pro gear. I've got a medium nib on mine, but it's still very wishy-washy. So, so far the inks that I've got from Wurrungle, and this is kind of like what, what it looks like in, in some writing. 
as I was saying, the inks that I have got from Warrigal, I've not had great experiences with. They've been wishy-washy, especially the very light colours, the pale colours I've struggled with. And so, I don't know. I'm in two minds about giving them another go, maybe with some darker inks. But to be perfectly frank, I haven't had a great experience with them inks. And I've tried them in different pens. I've tried them in my my favourite writers and I'm still kind of not really, really impressed with a writing experience with them. So share some thoughts of yours. So far, I'm really, really loving this Ricky Char and I just want to show you close up how it looks. It's kind of like dries. It goes down sort of dark forest green and then it just dries to this sort of like um, khaki, but it's got this kind of red, reddish kind of sheen through it, depending where it pulls. And it's also just got this really nice, um, well, to me anyway, this nice shading to it. So I'm really happy that I got that. And I think it might be one of those inks that I might be getting again. And then this is the Roshizuku Inaho, which I don't mind at all. And this one here with the goldy one is the Kobe Shinka Ishi Gold, which isn't bad at all. What else did I want to share with you? Another ink that I'm really loving. This is my um, Hisoku, or Hisoku number seven from uh, Kiyo no Oto inks. And I just love this bluey, greeny colour. Um, and how it writes and I love the way it shades. It is a little bit on the drier side. I had it in both my cellar pro gear and now I've put it in my latest pen that I got, the Pilot Explorer. And it writes really well, bro. This is the Pilot Explorer for those who might not have heard of this pen. Um, and so it's this pen performs really well with all the inks that I've put in there. Another ink that I am super excited about is my Kyo Iro ink, which is the Sosna of Ohara, which is this beautiful dark purple. I really love how it performs. I mean, in every pen that I've, I've put it in, it just performs really, really super well. And then I got super excited. I had some uh, Lamy Crystal inks uh, left over. I had the Amazonite that I hadn't yet used <laughs> and I put it in one of my Lamy pens and unbeknownst to me the cartridge that I had it, had it in had split on the side and um, all the ink just was leaking out. I'm thinking oh why is this you know so so thick you know why is this ink coming through I reused my cartridges. On the side here, there was a little micro split. You know, when you put it into the pen, there's a little, um, I don't know how to explain it, but in here, there's a little thing that you press it into. And so by pressing that into, that kind of opened up the split in the side there and all this ink was everywhere and it's coming through and I'm going, gosh, this is really wet. Why is it really wet? Well, yeah, long story short is because there was that split in the cartridge. And so I was a bit upset because I was really enjoying writing with it. Um, I do have uh, a similar ink from Ferris Wheel Press, which is the, um, oh, what's it called? Bluegrass Velvet. But I don't find it as nice as the Mazonite from the Lamy Crystal series. So I've been writing with these colours at the moment, so it's all kind of really green heavy. And also I did get myself another uh, sample of Van Diemen's Blue Ringed Octopus, which is this kind of really saturated blue and it's got this red sheen. But I must admit that I'm more impressed with the Diamine this lap lapis lazuli from, um, not diamine, dominant industry, sorry. It's a little bit darker and the red sheen in it is like, whoa. You know, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 
and that's kind of like where I'm at at the moment. So I'm writing out my pens, trying to use them up, and now I'm just sort of narrowing down what, what pens I want to take to Italy with me. Um, it's just so hard because I'm going to miss my pens, guys. Like, I'm going to miss them. <laughs> They're like my little babies. <laughs> Oh, and that's the other the other ink that I wanted to show you. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the shop. This is the sea glass. How nice is that green? And that's a, a troublemaker ink. That is super nice too. So even though that not might be classified as a you know a grey green, I still really really like it. Um, yes, yeah, so. I'm really enjoying these inks. I'm really enjoying writing with them. I'm enjoying all these greens that I got. And I'm a bit, you know, <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to take? And that was the um, one of the, the inks from Sailor that I got when I got my Moon Man. But see how it's so blobby and wishy-washy as opposed to when I write with the same pen right same pen but I write with it with my um my soft snow of O'Hara see how nice and crisp the writing is it's so interesting to me how the ink makes all the difference um to the writing experience it really does and i mean i must admit that some sailor inks to me are, are very wishy-washy see how well that writes and that's the um studio 462 in my um shell kill or skull kill so i'm definitely going to take these two i'm definitely going to take that pen with and i might take that pen with because i just love writing with this pen it's just so comfy and now that I've put this ink in this pen, I feel the writing experience has much improved. So I'm going to take those. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to take my Moon Man. Because my Moon Man, even if I lose it, I can replace it. Because it's like inexpensive. Um, that's inexpensive too. This is just such a great writer that I cannot not take it with. And it's also not a very expensive pen either. I may take these two my Pilot Explorer and my Goldie. And I was thinking that I might have to take one of these Lamy All-Stars as well. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot because, I mean, even though, you know, these are lightweight, they're not when you put them all together. I reckon I need to sort of kind of narrow these down, hey? Oh my goodness me. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard, people. It's so hard. <laughs> um, and just like, let me know your thoughts on what kind of, what you think I should take with me overseas and what are your thoughts on these inks? Are you liking them? Are you not liking them? Um. Do you think I'm taking too many pens? <laughs> Do you think I should only take a few? Oh, it's so annoying. Uh, I don't know what to do. Anywho, again, thank you so much for liking and for subscribing. I really appreciate you all giving me a thumbs up. Um, I've noticed that my videos are not getting a lot of following anymore, so I'm sort of doubting if I should continue putting out content, I don't know if people are interested in my videos or not. I guess it's also the fact that if people don't like them, um, the algorithm doesn't really put my videos out there for other people to see them and follow them. Because, you know, like I'm, I've noticed that my most popular videos are when you do, you know, a new pen arrival or when you're talking about your currently inked. But all my other ones don't sort of get... A lot of interest but the whole thing for me that's what I like doing I like sharing my journey with you it's not just about an unboxing or getting a new pen or you know what my currently inked are it's about how I use my pens you know what my thoughts are the fact that I'm going to Italy and I'm like freaking out because I don't know what pens to take with me you know how I like writing 
extracts from this book to you know play around with my inks my stickers you know it's it's the whole journey but unfortunately i've noticed that those videos are not not really appreciated so i'm i don't know if, if to continue putting out content to be honest because i can't always be buying pens um and, and the whole idea of this channel was to share my fountain pen journey not just unboxing so let me know in the comments what you think i should do should i continue putting content out there um or shall i just <laughs> not which would be a bit of a shame because i quite enjoy putting content out there and sharing my journey with you because i love fountain pens and i love the fountain pen community but anyway i will leave you to it thank you so much for watching again and see you in my next one Ciao,